So as most of you know, Assassin's Creed Valhalla is full of mystery and intrigue and well, some mysteries still have not been found within the game. But there's one thing that the people over at the ones who came before an Assassin's Creed fan site have been able to do and that is figure out exactly where an Assassin Grand Master is buried. Now in this video, we'll be going over the location, who he is, where he is and of course, at the end, I'm going to give you guys some information about my brand new giveaway so make sure you stay till the end. But without further ado, we're just going to jump straight into the video. So Magister Vitus was a high ranking member of the Hidden Ones who oversaw the evacuation of the Brotherhood in the 5th century. Now Vitus is mentioned a few times throughout the game in documents found in the Hidden Ones Bureau and in the description of the Magister armor set that can be found throughout the various regions of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now while many of us didn't realise that you could actually find his burial site within the game, other than getting the actual outfit Fit. This is quite unique and quite cool to see, especially since maybe, and I'm reaching here, just maybe we might be able to use his body at some point to, I don't know, maybe play an assassin in an Assassin's Creed game? Maybe? Maybe not? A, a boy can dream. Anyway, in order to find him, you will have to travel to the southern coast of Sen, or Ken. More specifically, you will have to travel to two towers called Dover Pharos and Dover Fortress. Once you're at the Dover Pharos, you will need to climb to the top. There you will find a marking in the shape of a triangle. Left of that triangle, there should be the Roman number. One. Next up, you will travel to the Dover Fortress. There you will find a tower similar to the one at Dover Pharos. Again, you will have to climb to the top of the tower. You will then find another triangle, a little bit different from the one in Dover Pharos. Instead of the Roman number one, there will be the Roman number two, just right of the triangle. Now, before we go further into this, I want to say this was compiled by none other than William Hedy Hodgelsko. Hodgelsko. See, I'm so sorry. I'm really bad at names. But a link to their socials and everything will be in the description down below. Make sure you go check them out for completing this tutorial. Now guys, I'll say this took him a while to figure out, but the hint here is to consider Dover Pharos and Dover Fortress as the first and second vertexes of the triangle. Now the third vertex is where you need to go in order to find Magister Vitus's unmarked burial site. Near the area above, you will find a well covered with wooden planks. Break the wooden planks and you'll be able to climb down into the well. Here you will finally find the remains of Magister Vitus and you will also notice an assassin insignia engraved on the floor. In the back of this tomb, you will find different things such as the Roman number 3, confirming that this is the right location. You will also find the Hidden Ones insignia at the bottom of his tomb. As one of the last things, you will also find a cryptic message on a scroll. Now the ones at the ones who came before actually managed to decipher this code, and to do it, you need to decipher by reading the letter every other two letters. So the original text said this, and of course, using a decoder, it will leave us with the message saying, Mandacams Liberta Alos Venus Nos Dominante at Mia Maxima Culpa Vitus. I hope I said it kind of right. And of course, translated from Latin means we gladly bite those who would dominate us, but I failed. Vitus, or Vitus, however you want to say it. And now with this translation, we can be sure that this is, of course, his burial site. Now, this is quite interesting and quite cool to see because the only burial sites we've really seen throughout the Assassin's Creed games have been the main characters. Of course, we have Bayek and Aya in the modern day of Assassin's Creed Origins, and then in AC Valhalla, again, in the the modern day, we have Eivors. So it's pretty cool and interesting to see that actually they're expanding the Assassin's base more and it's kind of cool to see. What I would like to suggest though is that maybe, just maybe, sort of like with Ragnar Lothbrok's death, we kind of saw what happened to him, like how he died. But of course, we can all pile that together by getting a bunch of his clues that you get from unlocking the Assassin's hidden bases surrounding all of England in Valhalla. So now on to the giveaway. Every month, I want to give back to you guys for supporting this channel and this month, I'll be giving away two copies of Assassin's Creed Valhalla or another game of your choice. Now, all you need to do to enter is comment down below what your favorite game of all time is and why. Also, like the video and make sure you're subscribed to be entered into this giveaway competition. I'll be running one of these every few months, so make sure you stick around for them. And guys and girls, I hope you have enjoyed this video. A link to the ones who came before and all their socials and this tutorial will be in the description down below. I hope you have enjoyed and I hope you all have an amazing day. I'll see you guys in the next video.